Hoody hoody ho! Welcome back, folks, to more Discworld! We've infiltrated the hideout. Let's return to the inn. Say hello to Scary Pants McGee. Bust our sheet out. The old letter opener in the secret compartment in the box trick. What's this for then? Undercover correspondence? Aha. Uh -huh. This looks like the combination of safe. Safe? Not, Not by long, long matey. matey. This should get me out past those goons who guard the city gate. That... Just the thing for those who want to pass. Alright, we have our gate pass now. We're gonna need that. It's still the exit to the co- Okay, so why don't you use it to get outside and stop being a stupid dipshit negotiate. Guess where we're going, folks? Back to L space. As soon as I can find the hole. That's what she said. And as fun as this is to watch, let's skip it. All right, not quite leaving yet. We're going to revisit the square. For those wondering, of course I'll be doing uh, the sequels to Discworld. A lot of adventure games I still gotta do, I'm just kind of on an adventure game rampage right now, or this is adventure game week if you will. Kind of putting everything out else on pause until this weekend, I'm just doing a couple adventure games here during the weekdays. I like to mix and match here. I got quite a few RPGs going on at the moment. Of course, XCOM and Dishonor, a couple modern games. Hopefully, everyone's enjoying all of it. Lovable Street Starfish and Tits McGee. The rack is so big, she can hold the broadsword between them. All right. Talk to Street or two. Doing some kind of secret handshake. What was that handshake you did? What handshake? The one you just did then. I never. Excuse me, young man, but you did. I saw you. Well, look, let's say, just as for instance, that I did know about a secret handshake. Now, if I told you it would no longer be a secret, would it? That's a double negative. What? Wouldn't no longer. It's a double negative. So? So, if by telling me it wouldn't not be secret, then by telling me the opposite must be true. Oh, uh, yes. So, by telling me, it would be a secret. So, you see, it's perfectly safe to show me how it's done. Look, I think we might need to revert to some sort of proof of your last statement. The logic seems highly suspect. And? Well, if you could go over this double negative thing step by step, maybe on paper like. You're a street urchin. Starfish. A street starfish, yes. You can't tell me that being loved by fantasy street stereotype in any way prepares you for the understanding of the vagaries of symbolic well, if logic. If I could just prove it by means of a Venn diagram or an if then else statement. Can you read? Ah. You've put your finger on a problem area. So just show me the answer. How do you do it? Couldn't tell you, Gav. Not just like that. 
Not without an initiation, like. You can only learn the secret if you prove that you're a man. Shall I report to a doctor? Well, you'd only know the physical. What? You know, sir, the real, the substantial. What I originally meant, sir, was for you to prove an innate yet unseeable quality of manhood, being a stereotype classification of... Now look, we're verging on that philosophical proofing problem again, aren't we? Look, Gav, just go and prove that you're a man. Then you'll be good enough to earn the secret handshake. Something around here smells like cinnamon dipped toad balls. Right here, sir. Sugar donuts. Normally a penny a piece, but for you, tuppence a bag. I shouldn't do this, mind you. I'm cutting my own throat. Oh, all right. Just give me some donuts. Get a D hole out and chill out in the alley for a bit. That doesn't work. Shut up and sit chairs? down! Whoa, egg, egg. I'm sorry? The eyes, the eyes, the awful knowing eyes. What's happened to you? I couldn't take it. Thumping, not thumping. My brain's gone potty. Your ah, brain gone potty too. Get them off me. They're all green. This oh, seems like a good cue to cease this whole silly conversation. Next. Look at Einstein here. Ah. Another case of repressed neuromorphosis. No, no, I just forgot to shave. So, oh, well, maybe another time. <laughs> so, Mr. Rizard, first sit down and examine these ink blocks. Uh, tell me what you think of this first picture at present. Ah, well, um, it's a bit ugly. It's a turd. Dead birdie? Mr. Dinosaur's bum? Oh, an emperor penguin fed it on a ball cue. You can keep it, but no, no, it's for charge. Enter, how about this one? Go, grief! Hmm. Is that you with the mask on? Whoops! Oh, wrong picture. <laughs> and what about this one? Yeah, it's... it's... it's an elephant's backside. Really? Reminds me of a patient they once had. You can keep this one for an elephant's side. Anyway, how long have you had this fixation that you are a pencil? Who told you about that? Oh, come on. Listen, it's only a hat. Just a hat. It hasn't even got any lead in it. <laughs> a very bad case. A pencil case, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I'd better see you again on Tuesday. That psychiatrist sucks. Don't leave. Never said you could be pencil dick. Will you shut up and? Hello again. Uh, hello. Have you seen him? Yes. Well, probably. Oh, you don't seem very sure. What does he look like? Um. Well, he was tallish, shortish, with fairish dark hair, and nothing on his face. Thing. You know. A beard. Yes. Oh yuck. He'd never wear a beard. Only a complete idiot would wear a beard. Madam, 
I believe you are insane. Well, I have to find him. It's all part of the cure. Now that you mention it, I think I may have seen him. Look, uh, give me a note so I can arrange for him to meet you. All right, we got a note. That doesn't work. Just put it in the chesticle. Don't you get the note from the dumb blonde? Go ahead and leave. Uh oh, looks like one guy croaked. Oh, right? Boston. Malaria. Malaria? He's got a poison dart sticking out of him. Just ignore him. Probably put it there himself to attract the girls. He probably likes it there. I'm sure he doesn't. Well, he'd complain if he didn't. Look, um, I don't mean to pry, but are you sure your friend's all right? Oh. Uh, bitten by a mosquito, that's what. Happened on a treasure hunt, I reckon. Yep. Uh, he'll be better after he's had a nice lie down. Alrighty then, I'll leave you to it. Gotta pass! Well, I'm, I'm a guard, sir. A guard has to... to... To what? Well, well, to guard, sir. I mean, we have to watch out for theft, sir. Does that have to involve harassing me? Well, you are the potential suspect, sir. Why do I have to be a suspect? Couldn't I be... What all? Stock in trade. Stock in trade? Well, instead of harassing me, you could just take a quick look every now and then to make sure I haven't been stolen. Good thinking, sir. If you are ever stolen, I shall report it to you at once. I think your commander wants you to fall in. Right you are, sir! Look, I haven't done anything. Will you stop trying to arrest me? You haven't done anything? No! Nothing at all? Absolutely not. Right! That's vagrancy, that is! Under Article 7, subparagraphs 3 and 4, I must ask you to accompany me down to the watch house. And then what? Um, ah, uh, yeah, well, the book didn't quite go into punishment. Uh, only arrest. So? Is this the watch house? Uh, yes. Right, well, then I'll accompany you there. Is that all right? Um, yes, yes, I suppose so. Well, I've certainly been taught a lesson. So, you're, uh, uh a... Uh, a dwarf, sir, that's right. Don't let the height fool you. Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Fine. Evening all. Now, Nobby, do I book him now? What for? Um, loitering with intent. Paragraph 7, subsection 3. Lurking, loitering, and vending without due course. Oh, Carrot, give it a rest. Take a walk. Who are you people, anyway? We're the city guard, mister. What, all two of you? Three of us. There's me and the sergeant, who's a bit under the weather, as account of making an arrest of a large quantity of lager. Then there's the kid, Carrot. The boy's going to be a full member soon. Marvellous. We're on patrol. There's been a few thefts around here lately. Strange things going missing. Little knickknacks all over town, almost as if someone's been swallowing them. You don't know anything about it, do you? What? Oh, goodness me, i never heard of any such thing in all my life. Well, we thought we might patrol our way over to the Broken Drum. Then we might patrol our way over to the inn. Then there's a few wine cellars whose doors definitely need checking. I see. So, what are you up to then? Oh, nothing. See, Nobby? Loitering! That's loitering! Of course it isn't. Just because I'm not doing anything important doesn't mean I'm loitering. Well, it's as close as maybe. Well, the law has to be specific. What actually is loitering? Oh, well, once upon a time, there was all sorts of laws, of course. Yes, such as... Oh, intends to go into a pub and have a drink. Intends to strip stark naked and wave at passers-by. Intends to go into a pub and have really big drinks. Intends to pass by the guard without giving them a smoke. You haven't got a spare on you by any chance. Uh, no, sorry, I don't. No loss, no loss. Well, look, I wasn't planning on doing any of those things. Well, how are we to know that? But I was just standing there. What's the difference between loitering and minding your own business? Ah, well, your inveterate loiterer sort of sidles his way along the pavement, kind of moving without even twitching a muscle. Uh, oh, yes, I know, um, <clears throat> yeah. Got a watch for them invertebrates. Some criminals just have no... A lot of dialogue in this game. Had to struggle a bit for that one, didn't you? Look, I'm not gonna stay here. I've had a very trying day. Exciting? Full of action? What? Yes, I suppose so. 
Well, that's disturbing the peace then. Okay, these are your rights. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right not to remain silent, but to say, ah, 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 please do not do that again. You have the right to say, yes, all right, it was me what done it. Ah, ah, no, not the fingers. Ah. Carus, no. What? No, Carus. We are not going to arrest him. But not me, he just admitted. But we're turning a blind ear. Well, I'll just move along then, shall I? Right. Let's check out this crate. We get a barrel. A keg. Okay. How many do we get to take? Got an open Mr. Chesticle. Forgot about that. That does. It's highly dangerous. It's. Oh, we got fireworks out of there, too. I think that's all we need. Let's go ahead and show off. Pass. Tally hole. Dark woods. Woods. Ank more pork. Things. I wish you uh, I think that's where we want to be quite yet. Is he scaling the mountains or what? What the fuck is that? A chicken lizard? Uh, now can't we discuss this? You know, I, I've always wondered what? just why are you crossing the road? Look, you can't frighten me. Good job, uh, good job, Chesty. Bad boy. All right. We got the egg here and the feather. Let's continue on, Rinse Wind. We must reach the dark wood by night. Before night, we met. Perhaps it's time I sang about my favorite things. Carnivorous owl. That doesn't work. Alright, Drinks Wind is about to piss himself. He's entered the dog house. Heck yeah, get us some witch's brew. Just what the doctor ordered. A clay pot filled with chunky custard. More chunky custard. 
herbs. Actually, some of these herbs seem to be looking back. Let's head to uh, the edge of the world. It's a cool place to visit. Holy sh shiitake mushroom. This place is gay. I want coconut. Give me coconut. Me have coconut. That's all we needed. to the street. Try again later. She does it. Oh, I'm so in love. Oh, 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 her words. Her words are like molten lava trickling down my chest. <laughs> oh, she's a lovely woman. Quick, mind the shop for me, will you? Got you all in. I am trained in dentistry. Just kidding. Let me yank this fucking tooth out of your mouth.
te poser. Hey, actually, this is quite a cute octopus. Well, as far as mollusks go. We use the string on the octopus. Well, hey, actually, this is Bob. Now we got us a tied up octopus. It's in that toilet. All right, we need to get old man withers to shit. So he can sit on our toilet trap. So we'll put some prunes in the caviar. Tentacle up the colon. Dude is done for. He's, of course, one of the shadowy figures. We're retrieving all the gold items here gold tooth, gold belt. Please let this not be where he normally keeps his stock. Some fishy shit. It's a doll of the jolly old Hogfather. All right, we'll get us an old Hogfather doll. After that, we can leave the streets. We need to return to the palace. Clear off, you! Every time you come around, you start trouble. Who, me? Let's cause some more trouble. I think it's a picture of a large pie. Or maybe a hippopotamus dumpling. That doesn't work. That do I suppose neither of you wants to see. That's right. No, oh, wait a minute. See what? Well, I just wondered what you gentlemen might make out of this. It's a chocolate blancmange. No. No, it's it's awfully familiar, though. Uh, not, uh, not this a guy in the bottom right corner has been trying to fucking no, climb no, up the walls no, not a hippo. since we started. A lad put him. So it's your I fingers know. Be ripped off by now. It's your wife. My wife is not fat. <laughs> All right, and we've passed the guards once again. I need to go pass uh, some kidney stones to my penis. So we'll see you next video. Thanks for watching.